If you're serious about your music and are listening in a small or medium-sized room, then bookshelf speakers make a lot of sense. And just with the right receiver, you can produce some great sound quality without breaking the bank. Hello guys, today's video, we're taking a look at the five best bookshelf speakers of 2022. And if you want more information, we also put the links in the description box down below. Thanks. Starting up our list with number five, we've got the Sony SSCS5. The Sony SSCS5 bookshelf speakers measure 17.9 by 10.7 by 16.2 inches and weigh 9.4 pounds. They have an RMS of 30 watts and peak power of 100 watts per speaker, while the frequency response is between 55 hertz to 50,000 hertz. These are three-way speakers, so they have a woofer, a mid-range driver, and a tweeter. The woofer is a 5.25 inches constructed from micro-reinforced cellular, and the mid-range driver is 1 inch and made from polyester, and the 3 quarters inch tweeter, or super tweeter as Sony likes to call it, is a soft dome design. These are passive speakers consequently, so you'll need a receiver to drive them, and they have standard binding posts at the rear of the speaker to connect to the receiver with a nominal impedance of 6 ohms. Sony SSCS5 are relatively inexpensive speakers, and we can see that the construction is not as solid as some of the other speakers we've reviewed. The cabinets are vinyl-covered MDF. It's a commonly used material, and the quality and finishing are fine but not up to the same level, as you'll find in more expensive speakers. The components, such as the 1-inch polyester mid-range driver and the soft dome tweeter are examples of further cost containment from Sony. Hardly surprising, given their price, but this does have an overall effect on the sound that prevents them from being the best in class. It's not designed for a party or a large room though, with just only 30 watts of RMS power, they're not particularly loud. They struggle to give precise sound at higher volumes however, at lower volumes they are perfectly fine. The overall sound is decent. The mid-range is reasonably well-defined, and there are some nice, smooth troubles. The bass at lower volumes is acceptable, but can boom and resonate at higher volumes. Next with number 4, we've got the Edifier R2000DB. The Edifier R2000DB powered Bluetooth bookshelf speakers measure 9.5 by 11.25 by 7.5 inches in size and weigh 22 pounds. The RMS is 60 watts per speaker, and the frequency response is between 55 hertz to 20,000 hertz. It features a 5-inch alloy woofer and a 1-inch silk dome tweeter. And there are coaxial, two RCA, and an optical connection input to the rear of the active speaker. Also, there are a further two auxiliary inputs, plus volume, treble, and bass controls. There's no doubt that these speakers have plenty of modern connectivity. There are wired connections to enable you to plug into your preferred electronic device or use Bluetooth as a wireless alternative, and they also have remote control. The Edifier R2000DB is an active speaker, so they do not require a separate receiver. They're made in China and are nicely constructed and finished. These wood-finished speakers are actually made of MDF with a wood-stained finish, but they are not solid wood. They have a pair of nice quality detachable grills that we would be tempted to use. The exposed drivers and speaker fronts are not going to win any awards for their looks. The woofer is not particularly large, but we were still able to hear plenty of low ends. The bass output sounded relatively tight and well-balanced. The trebles are adjustable, that's a very useful feature. The mids were even with little if any coloration and vocals were clear and the instruments were clearly defined. The high end was well taken care of by the 1-inch silk dome tweeter which delivered some clean, crisp highs, even at lower volumes. Overall, the Edifier R2000DB speakers have a relatively uncolored sound. Taking their power output into consideration, this makes them a good choice for use in a small size studio. Next up at number 3, we've got the Pioneer SPBS22LR. The Pioneer SPBS22LR bookshelf speakers measure 8.45 by 7.13 by 12.55 inches in size and weigh 9.2 pounds. However, the peak power is only 80 watts per speaker, and the frequency response is between 55 hertz to 20,000 hertz. They have a 4 inches structured surface woofer and a 1 inch soft dome tweeter with a nominal impedance of 6 ohms and a crossover frequency of 3,000 hertz. The overall quality of the cabinets is fair enough after all, these are budget-priced bookshelf speakers. They have the typical MDF wood stain finish you find at this price, and frankly, they look uninspiring. The grills do little to improve matters. If anything, they make things worse, which we didn't think was possible. The fact is, it's not only are they ugly, but the thick plastic maze of their structure seriously interferes with the tweeter trying to punch its way through with some high-frequency noise. 
The Pioneer SPBS 22LR bookshelf speakers may not be the most exciting to look at, but at this price point, their sound is hard to beat. Firstly, the complex six-component crossover between trebles, mids, and bass is outstanding. It's super smooth and not something you'd normally expect from speakers costing so little. It helps to generate a well-balanced and detailed sound across all frequencies. Also, the choice of a 4 inches bass driver is interesting. It still gets down to the lower bass notes, which are officially tagged at 5 to 5 Hz, though it may not be as punchy as units with larger speakers. More impressively, there's no audible mid-bass hump that can noticeably affect clarity and degrade the sound quality. At number 2, we got the Klitsch RP500M. The Klitsch RP500M bookshelf speaker measures 6.13 by 13.1 by 9.1 inches in size and weighs 12 pounds each. The RMS is 7 to 5 watts per speaker with a peak power of 300 watts per speaker, and the frequency response is between 48 hertz to 25,000 hertz. There are 5.25 inches spun copper ceramic woofers with a 1 inch titanium tweeter coupled to a hybrid Tractrix horn. Additionally, at the rear, there is a newly designed bass reflex Tractrix port. These are passive speakers and have a nominal impedance of 8 ohms with a 5 year warranty. Build wise, these are the most expensive speakers we've looked at in our review of the best bookshelf speakers under $500. So the question is inevitable have we saved the best to last? Well, what we can say for sure is that these are the most powerful. The Klitsch RP 500M bookshelf speakers have plenty of volumes and are suited to far field listening, even in good sized rooms. Looking briefly at design and build quality, there's no doubt that the Klitsch RP 500M is both well made and well designed. The copper spun woofers and horn shaped tweeter cone looks amazing. Instantly recognizable as Klitsch speakers for 20 meters, we give these beauties full marks for looks. Sound wise, Klitsch is a longtime adopter of horn technology. They use it cleverly in the R500M to channel high-range frequencies directly to the listener whilst reducing any reflections that might unduly color the sound. Additionally, the Tractrix horn boosts efficiency and dynamics, which in turn relays accurate and precise sound at all volumes. The higher mids are well-defined, the lower mids are not quite so precise, and a little harder to separate in the mix. All in all, these are great-sounding, true hi-fi speakers built with quality components. The last product on our list is the Polk Signature Elite ES20. The Polk ES20 Signature Series bookshelf speakers measure 8 by 14 by 16 inches and weigh 17 pounds. They are able to handle up to 125 watts of peak power per speaker, and the frequency response is a mind-boggling 39 hertz to 40,000 hertz with a nominal impedance of 8 ohms. There is a 6.5 inches dynamic balance micro-reinforced polypropylene woofer. A bit of a mouthful and a big driver to fit into a relatively small unit. While the higher range frequencies are taken care of by a 1 inch tourmaline dome tweeter, and the rear of the speakers has 5 way gold plated binding posts. Paul provides a full 5 years guarantee on all components, which should tell you that these are well put together. Design wise, Paul has a solid, well earned reputation for building great sounding and affordable speakers. Consequently, with over 50 years of experience in manufacturing electronics, it's reasonable to expect a great package from this US-based company. Paul clearly demonstrates how to make nice speaker cabinets out of simple materials. These are well-made and well-finished with well-designed curved corners. What's more, the silver bronze colored speakers look beautiful. The matte black, single-piece reverse arch mounting plate on the front of the cabinet is superb. Performance-wise, the speakers do come with some good quality detachable grills, but it would be a sin to use them. The bass driver has plenty of air and a well-tuned reflex port to fully enhance the lower range and ensure peak performance with minimal distortion. There's a nice punchy bass you can feel that these sound bigger than they are. Overall, there's plenty of energy in the mids with excellent clarity in the highs. They have a smooth crossover between frequencies with clear sound separation. For such a compact set of speakers, they have a dynamic and relatively broad soundstage.